Okay guys, I'm here at uh, my basement, uh, which is underneath some apartment buildings, and I wanted to talk to you guys, and maybe this will help a few of you out. <coughs> I had a problem in here. This is about a 30 by 30 square foot uh, room, and it's all concrete, and for years and years I got water in here, water damage. And it got to the point, uh, every time I come over, we'd have a big rain. It was coming in from the walls that, <coughs> that these uh, pillars actually rotted out. I had to re take them out and repair them uh, over the course of, you know, I don't know how many years it took. but And that's pretty thick pipe. Those are uh, heavy duty. Anyway, I wanted to get rid of this water, and I, I looked into a lot of different things. And, uh, you know, coating the walls didn't seem to, to be an option. It doesn't seem like that really works very well. So, uh, one thing that I have in here, this is a walkout basement, uh, basically. And they put a French drain in, but they put it over here uh, at the door. Actually, it's not even a French drain. It it's actually goes into the sewer. So, but they put that over here, and unfortunately... That is uh, a higher spot in the concrete than most of the other concrete. So where the water would pool would be right here in the center. So if I just step back here and look, it would all be, you know, in this area. And I would have to, like, sweep this out and use a squeegee and push it over, the whole way over to here, and put it in there. Either that or I'd have to shop back it. And it got to be a pain in the ass because every time you got a big rain, there we had it. So uh, I couldn't s let anything set on the floor without having it up. But anyway, I had a, a guy come in and uh, that was a basement guy, and he has like a system. They were going to dig up the concrete and then put a uh, sump pump in and pump this water out, catch it at the walls. And uh, I looked at the system that he had, and it's pretty cheap plastic stuff. Hell, it doesn't look like it's much thicker than siding. Anyway, it probably would work. I don't doubt that. But I wanted a cheaper alternative because they quoted me about eight to ten thousand dollars. So where I was getting water in, if you look at this place, was right from that pillar. There's a pillar there. It would seep in here, and it would seep in this corner and all around. So what I did instead of popping for the eight or ten grand, I did this myself. And you may, it may be something you can use in your uh, situation, and maybe it isn't. I'm not saying this is great for all basements or whatever, but for what I need, this is perfect because I'm not worried about looks. All I want to do is keep the water off the floor and keep everything dry. So what I did, I went to uh, Lowe's and I purchased brick molding. Okay, that's the, the molding that actually goes around your windows and doors. Uh, it's brick casing, some people call it. Anyway, I got the PVC stuff. So it's all PVC, just like your PVC pipe. So it's plastic. And what I did was, I cut that to fit around. See, I even have a pillar there. I cut that and mitered that and brought that right around. I cut the pieces. And I kept them about, uh, yeah, you can see about, Maybe a little over two fingers, not quite three, but somewhere around there, probably about two inches, uh, out from the wall. And when the wall actually brings water in, it gets trapped in that channel. And this stuff is about, uh, I don't know, it's two inches tall. So for this to work the way this, this was, I checked my level of my basement floor, and it was very pretty damn level the whole way around uh, you know, this thousand square feet, the whole way around, it was pretty level. <clears throat> so, I didn't want to have a sump in here, I didn't want to have a pump. So I just used gravity, since it was level the whole way around the edge. I put this stuff around, you can see, this is under my work table. This is the end, the cap of it, right here, where I brought it right in. <laughs> Bring it a little closer, you can see. Brought that right in against that pillar, block pillar. And... I had another guy helping me, my father-in-law, and uh, we we put this stuff in. It probably took, I don't know, it probably took eight or ten hours, man hours, to put this stuff down, to cut it, put it down. And I used 100% clear silicone underneath it, 
So, and I pre-drilled the holes. I used dry or uh, tap cons in the concrete. So I put the piece in dry, and you can see I countersunk the holes about halfway. So there's a tap con down in each of these holes that holds that stuff. And uh, once I got that all pre-drilled and blew the holes out in the concrete real good, I, I guess I got it drilled about every, I'm going to say about every 30 inches or so. And then I put silicone underneath it and then we bolted it down using the tap cons. And then I put silicone, uh, of course, on the ends here at the miters and stuff. And then I actually came back through and put another bead. I put a small bead right on the outside and actually stuck my finger on the inside and got a bead on the inside so that I really got it sealed. And I got to tell you guys, this thing, this has worked great for me. Ever since I've done this, I've had no issues. All the water is trapped. And since that's two inches tall, like right now, you can see, if I come back here, there's actually, I don't know if you can see my fingers wet, but there's probably a quarter inch or something in there of water. And I don't know how level the floor is, but uh, sometimes a little water will lay in there before it evaporates. But uh, it never comes out over the top because it's more level than that. It's closer than two inches. So what happens is this all builds up from that corner over there, and it just flows just like water does. Comes down here, and I wanted to get away from the sump because that's what that guy wanted to use, but I didn't want that because that's just something else to, to worry with if it doesn't kick on. So what I did down here, and let me back up here and show you. This is the corner uh, against the street, and this is where water does come in. But it always, it never came in past this. It never came in over here because this wall is not a, uh, an outside wall. It's an inside wall. So I brought it right to there because I was familiar with where the water, where it would get wet. Brought it right to there and I made a little end cap. Hopefully you can see that. Just a short piece. And I drilled a hole in it just to slide uh, some PVC pipe through it. And I guess that pipe's about, I don't know what size it is, inch something like that and I kept that down as low as I could let me see if I need this anyway so then I took that sorry I gotta move some stuff here I took that over to the corner and I got a uh, uh, an elbow there and I brought it up here and I put a vent in it so that it would be able to suck air and it wouldn't get locked and I took that this is an inside wall I took that underneath all my cabinets here. That's that's back behind. You can't even see it because I got so much stuff under. Anyway, I brought it out here. I brought it out back behind there. You can see the elbow, and I brought it right out here. And I opened it up about a foot from the drain, the French drain. So when I come in here now, I never have water anywhere. And it doesn't leak on the outside of that stuff. The only thing I have is sometimes I have water dripping from that into here, which you can see it's a little damp there now because uh, we just got a rain. Now, you could take and run that outside as well, but since I had that drain there, I, I'm not worried about a little bit of water there. I just wanted to keep my whole unit dry and have to avoid, uh, you know, pumping this thing out and sweeping it out all the time. But you, if, if you have a basement, I guess, that isn't a walkout because this is a walkout uh, you have to, and you don't have a drain to put it in that's lower then you have to dig a, a hole in your concrete and put a sump in it and pump it up somewhere into your sewer or, or outside but I didn't have that so all I do is just run it right into there and it works out great and I have no electric cost involved in it and that stuff works great that PVC uh, uh, that PVC brick mold probably will last forever, and the silicone, I mean, I don't see that thing leaking any time. And this has been like this for probably a year, and I, I mean, I've just had 100% success with it. That's not for every instance, but if you have a situation similar to this, where you're getting water in off the walls, not off the floor, not off a crack in the floor, and uh, you're not too worried about the uh, aesthetics of it, I mean, because you, you are able to see that there's a little bit of water in there, but it's still a clean look. You could build a wall, you know, you could build a wall on the uh, 
this side, the inside of that, if once you got this thing tested out and it worked well, but I'm not interested in doing that, and I'm not suggesting that you do that. You do whatever you think. And uh, anyway, the the brick molding, the silicone, the, the tap cons, I forget. I think I might have 300 hours in this project, and about eight or ten hours labor. Works great, guys. So do with that info what you may, and uh, comment at the bottom if you have any questions. Thanks.